good morning students in this video we are going to discuss about chapter 11 carbon and its compound already we have studied uh, the introduction about organic compounds as well as the classification based on pattern of carbon chain and the classification based on kind of atom today we are going to see about the classification of organic compounds based on functional groups before going to that we have to know about hydrocarbons so what are hydrocarbons students the organic compounds that are only containing or that only composed of carbon and hydrogen in its structure are called as what hydrocarbons that is the compound that contain only carbon and hydrogen can you say one example for it methane isn't it what's the formula for methane ch4 methane gas it contains only only carbon and hydrogen hence it comes under where hydrocarbons and these hydrocarbons are regarded as parent organic compounds why they are regarded as parent carbonic compounds because all other compounds are considered to derived from these hydrocarbons by replacing one or more hydrogen atom with other atoms or group of atoms we can see an example here students see this ethane what's the formula ch3 single bond ch3 it comes under what type of hydrocarbon it is we have three types of hydrocarbon isn't it what are they alkane alkene alkyne alkane means carbon to carbon single bond alkane means carbon to carbon double bond and alkyne they have carbon to carbon triple bonds and here is the tabulation see the different members of families alkane alkene alkane all these ethane propane methane ethane propane butane pentane and so on all contains carbon and hydrogen in structure and all they are regarded as parent hydrocarbons now see the example students ethane it belongs to alkane family and it is one of the hydrocarbon now ch3 single bond ch3 now one hydrogen is replaced from ethane so that it converted to ch3 minus ch2 instead of the replaceable hydrogen a group of atom is come and joined isn't it that is what o h and that is considered as functional groups which give a chemical property to the hydrocarbon have you clear so now this hydrocarbon ethane is converted to another class of organic compounds that is alcohol it now it belongs to the family alcohol now the hydrocarbon contains the chemical properties that belongs to the family of alcohol have you understood so one hydrogen is replaced and other group of atom joined and this joint group of atom only considered as what functional groups see students this actually the hydrocarbon chain students we know that these hydrocarbons that is the compound that containing only carbon and hydrogen are relatively less reactive okay so but due to the presence of the some other atoms that we study now this just now isn't it uh, by replacing h oh is come and joined that's a functional group so this is a other atoms other than hydrogen and carbon oh isn't it other group or this group of atoms that makes the hydrocarbons more reactive and the properties of the hydrocarbons also depend upon the functional group that attached to it okay so the chemical properties are determined by the functional groups which is attached to the hydrocarbon chain okay and this group of atoms only we will call it as what functional groups so we can define the functional group as what it's a group of it's a group of atom in a molecule which give the characteristic of chemical properties so what is functional group a functional group is an atom or a group of atom in a molecule which gives the characteristic chemical properties so the chemical properties rely on the functional group attached to the hydrocarbon so if the chemical properties rely on the functional group means physical properties it rely on the remaining part of the structure that is the hydrocarbon chain 
so we study isn't it ch3 ch2 it's a hydrocarbon chain and the physical properties depend upon this chain and whereas the group oh or cho there are so many groups we will discuss later so these groups they give the which one chemical properties and the remaining hydrocarbon chain gives the physical properties okay and this ch3 ch2 this carbon chain was denoted by the letter r okay hyphen and it is and it is pointed to any one of the o and the functional group for example here ethane is converted to ethanol am i right in that structure ch3 ch2 is represented by r it's bonded to what o h and it was generally represented as r o h clear and also students not only this functional groups the carbon to carbon multiple bonds also considered as the functional groups alkene alone we know carbon to carbon single bond whereas alkene and alkene it has double bond and triple bond isn't it so carbon to carbon double bond and if the hydrocarbon chain contains double bond or triple bond it also influences its properties okay so this also carbon to carbon double bond and triple bond also considered as functional groups as many of the properties are influenced by these bonds okay so double bond and triple bond also influences what the properties to the hydrocarbon chain so they are also considered as what functional groups now in this table we can see a different class of compounds with different functional groups and their formula and some examples see students first one alcohol the functional group of alcohol is oh and the common formula is ROH and the example C we already studied ethanol isn't it that's the formula CH3 CH2 CH3 CH3 it's a parent organic compound the derived product is CH3 CH2 OH so from the hydrocarbon chain ONH is removed and if OH is attached then it is considered as another group of compound that is alcohol okay the series of compounds that containing same functional group then they are called as class of organic compounds the members that comes under alcohol formally all they contain what in it is OH isn't it Mm, methanol ethanol propanol butanol all they contains what oh as its functional groups okay hence the series of compounds that containing under alcohol family all contain same functional group oh hence they are also called as class of organic compounds the next one is aldehyde the functional hero group is cho the common formula is represented here and the first example for this is acetaldehyde isn't it ch3 cho ch3 cho the next one is ketone it is a class of compounds under this family all the compounds that contain the functional group c double bond o or you can write it as r c o r because both r and r are hydrocarbon chains see for example acetone ch3 r the hydrocarbon next co bonded to ch3 okay so it is generally it is mentioned as r c o r the next one is carboxylic acids and its functional group is COOH. The first member is what? acetic acid CH3. The, one of the example for carboxylic acid is CH3 COOH. The next one is ester COO and it is generally written as R C O O R. Best example is CH3 COO CH3 that is methyl acetate. The last one is ether what's that r o r example is dimethyl ether ch3 o ch3 okay so these are the some of the classes of organic compounds based on the functional groups and all they are considered to be derived from the parent organic compound by replacing one or more hydrogen atoms so this is the classification based on what functional groups have we clear the next class we will see how to name the hydrocarbon okay they have nomenclature uh, before that students uh, hydrocarbon already i have discussed in the classroom and oh, i explained what is hydrocarbon and what is the classification isn't it alkane alkane alkyne and what is the characteristic of hydrocarbon 
means they are what colorless odorless next one what the boiling point of hydrocarbons increases with increase in the number of carbon atoms and so on you study isn't it they are insoluble in water so from there students you study five properties okay any five characteristic of hydrocarbons okay ma? it is on page number 158 so there are totally nine points are there from there you selectively study any five points uh, if they ask the questions are like this hide the characteristic of hydrocarbons means we have to write it then uh, important questions already we studied test to identify saturated and unsaturated compounds isn't it carbon to carbon single bond means we will say it as saturated carbon to carbon double bond and triple bond means we will call it as what unsaturated compounds already we discussed isn't it and what is the test to identify is bromine test isn't it so if the, if the given sample we have to add a, a bromine few drops of bromine water if the compound is saturated there will be no color change if they are unsaturated the bromine water reacts with the compound and the color isn't it changes into what colorless isn't it ma the orange color turns into colorless product okay so saturated compounds do not decolorize bromine because it does not undergo any chemical reactions because all the valence electrons are filled with what hydrogen atoms so that also very important question so learn that page number 158 today what we discussed in this video also it is on page number 157 and 158 so students uh, in this uh, today's portion page number 158 uh, there is a two mark question what is called functional groups a functional group is an atom or a group of atom in a molecule which gives its characteristic of chemical properties learn the question and in page number 159 that's a tabulation is there learn all the functional groups it can be asked as a match the following so you learn all alcohol aldehyde ketone carboxylic acid ester and ether another one question already i have marked uh, those who did not mark please uh, mark uh, from this video that is roman number uh, five a uh, second question classify the following compounds based on the pattern of carbon chain second question the answer is on page number 156 please that is important book back question the next one name the simplest ketone and it gives structural formula the simplest ketone right there acetone the answer is acetone which is shown here acetone and write the structure ch3 co ch3 write the answer there also and also students already we have completed the manufacture of ethanol from molasses and i have marked uh, important questions that book back question as well as book inside question is other chemical properties are very important use these days to learn this question and also learn uses of ethanol i hope you understood and if you have any clarification you can attend the what zoom class uh, and if you have any clarification we can clear that uh, thank you students